Good afternoon, everybody. It's John Davis with Lachlan Highlands Farm. I am working on a project today. That excavator back there. I, I mentioned before that I was going to have a video talking about what we got going on with this uh, thing on the front. That thing on the front. Uh, tree shear. And today is the day that I'm going to get it installed. So let me show you what I'm doing. It's a bit of a production. And I started on the project. I'm like, oh, crap, I need to film this thing. I mean, I'm a, a, a YouTuber, right? <laughs> At the time of this video, I've got 430 subscribers. So uh, it's such a, a big deal. But someday we will get there. 430,000 subscribers would be good. Also, this is the last day where we have good weather. It is going to apparently snow tomorrow. Not really crazy about that. I got to hustle and get this done in between... Uh, other work items or whatever else. Let me show you what's up. This behemoth right here is a TMK 200 tree shear. And I'm pretty excited about it. It goes on my John Deere 35G excavator, which is a 9,000 pound class machine. And what it does, it's got this big hydraulic arm here. You can see with the hydraulic ram. It's got a big hydraulic arm and it comes in and it crunches a tree against this blade down here and it snips it off. So it snips trees up to eight inch diameter. They make really big ones of these. That's what the feller bunchers use uh, when they do, oh, um, you know, real uh, um, tree felling, like on the West Coast and uh, up in um, the Northeast and whatnot. They're huge, they can take like a 20 inch tree. But this little guy will take an eight inch tree. And the reason I got it is because when I'm clearing land, we've got a lot of land where it used to be pasture or it's pasture edge that got overgrown. And I've got a ton, tiny little eight inch trees. And what I can do with this guy is go in, I can snip him, then I can use the excavator to pick it up and place it into a burn pile, onto a trailer, or into a chipper. I can also reach this thing up way overhead and limb trees. And one of the nice benefits of it is that it will, uh, this arm here is a collector and it will grab onto the tree after it gets cut and hold onto it until I tell it to let go, which is pretty freaking cool all things considered. So, but I need to hook up, um, you know, the, the overall hookup is pretty straightforward. Uh, it, it hooks up to the excavator just like a bucket would. And then I've got my auxiliary lines. When I bought the excavator, I had them uh, put in these connectors on the auxiliary lines. So I got one on that side and I got one on this side. And that's what operates the big hydraulic ram that snips the tree back and forth. Or, well, it doesn't snip the tree back and forth. It snips the tree. It operates the cutter back and forth. And that is running off the auxiliary line that would normally work the thumb. So that's all plumbed in, that was easy. What I have to do today, I've got all that cable on the ground. There is an electric solenoid that operates the uh, uh, bunching part of it. And I need to get that electric into the cab. And uh, what I'm going to do is have the electric go to the horn switch that's on the joystick. So I'll, I'll have a selector switch, which I'll show you. A selector switch that mounts, doo -doo -doo -doo. I already started in here too. A selector switch that mounts probably right there where I can select between the horn and the, I don't know what to call it, buncher, I guess. And it'll be actuated by this button right here on the joystick that I already took apart. So, like I said, I already got started <clears throat> and I'm kind of working backwards. So I know where I want to put the switch uh, I know what wires that the switch has to activate. Now I just need to work back uh, and figure out how to get the wire from the implement up over the boom into the cab and then uh, get it wired in properly up here. First thing first, uh, I took all these um, uh, screws out, bolts rather, that were holding in the trim panel. These guys like right, right there. And that is a... Look at my eyes, those are 13 millimeter bolts. So I'm getting those removed. Let me get this trim panel off and see what it looks like inside. Got this side panel disconnected and it looks pretty straightforward. There's only one switch in it right now. Hitachi slash John Deere left some space for me. So I'm gonna pop this guy out, uh, which just requires removing these two connectors. There we go. And now I've got my panel set aside where I can put my, my switch on it. Go ahead and put that right there. I think the bigger issue is going to be, I know what color wire is inside of my joystick. I got to fish down, maybe get this shroud off and look down and see 
where that connects into the rest of the system here. More digging. Oh my goodness. So I apologize for all the wind noise. The weather got considerably worse. We've got, well, it was supposed to be 60 degrees today, which it got to, nice and calm wind. And then uh, it's supposed to snow a lot tomorrow. So we've got up to 50 mile an hour gusts and this all happened in the span of like an hour. So yeah, uh, welcome to Ohio in November. Anyway, but on the bright side of things, it was a gift to get that weather today. So I'm in my attempt to be a grateful man, that's where we're at. Before I put all the guards back on, I wanted to show you what I did from the cable riding. I started here, uh, this guy, I'm gonna drill and tap into the boom and uh, we're gonna have this switch kind of mounted on the boom there, or maybe not, I don't know. I may just leave it dangling there. We'll see uh, see how things look, but that's where that went. And then I routed it up and over, making sure to leave slack. And I'll clean that up a little bit more with some more zip ties when it's not freaking nasty outside. We come down back over the boom. This is really the critical part right here. So I followed through here and you can't see because I wanted to start getting these guards on, but there is, like right there, a rubber strain relief that uh, this metal piece kind of squeezes together and all these hydraulic hoses go through. This wire fits there, which is a good thing. Um, so it goes through there and that's where the uh, boom lights go as well. And that's a nice secure spot for that. And it's not being pinched because I can still move it back and forth. So this guard, this guard is all tightened down. Everything's good to go and we're good to go there. So. To access that, you take off this piece here, which is two bolts there, and then the three bolts there. All right, so we pulled it down through here, so it's not gonna be pulled on anything. And then this is the other critical part of how to get it up into the cab. Up in here, I ran it along these hoses, and that uh, pedal right there that swings the boom from side to side, there's a gap under it that you can well, you can kind of see there, there's a gap there that just wide enough for this wire that I was able to fit that thing through. So I'll be able to run it in the cab. I probably won't get to that tonight because I want to get these guards back on, but it's going to come up through the pedal and then I'll route it out of the way. So, you know, the floor mat will go over it. My phone won't get caught, foot won't get caught on it, but then we'll make the termination and get it wired up to the switch and all that stuff. Uh, either way, it's really freaking cold outside and my hands are starting to freeze. I'm gonna go back inside and this video is gonna get finished on another day. It's a few days later and it's freaking disgusting outside. It started out, well, today's Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you. So by a few days later, I mean like a week later, <laughs> something like that. And it's pretty nasty outside. It is snowing right now. And I had to order some parts from DigiKey to get this done. I had the wrong connectors, or not the wrong connectors. I had the wrong switches. And what I need is a double pull, double throw switch. I'll put in a schematic so this makes sense, but I found the wires for the switch, ran those up to the dash, and put those into the center point on the switch. So a double pull, double throw switch has six contacts. So you can take two wires and you can redirect the signal on those two wires to two other contacts. So it's two contacts go to two contacts, and then two contacts go to two contacts. It'll make sense with the schematic I have on the screen. Anyway, I got it figured out and it works, it works really well actually. Let me show you what I did. Not much changed on the outside of the excavator, although I did, this bracket came with the kit from TMK. I did go ahead and drill and tap that uh, into the excavator stick, just so that's got a nice place for it to live. Ran the cables, got this all buttoned up. I showed you that earlier, where the cables are going inside by the boom rotate foot pedal. And this is nasty in here because it's, well, nasty outside. I need to get this all cleaned up. But kind of the, the big part that makes a lot of sense. So these uh, hands, I need more hands. These are the, I guess, you know, quote unquote wiring harnesses that I made. And I tapped off of the 12 volt power 
the onboard power for this relay, which is one of the forward travel relays. So I grabbed one of the wires. There's two going into each uh, position. So I grabbed one of the wires there, and then I added a ground wire here. So reference the schematic that I showed earlier, but I've got two wires coming out of the joystick button. So two wires that come out of that, that go to my switch, the center taps on that switch. I've got these two wires. Um, so a wire here and then a wire here. So I'm switching my ground, my common, okay, 12 volt, uh, it's not the 12 volts, it's the common. So I'm switching the common and that goes into the bottom position on the switch. And then the top position of the switch, I've got my two leads coming from the horn, which I tapped off of under here, and I'm connecting those. So, uh, yeah, I know, again, reference the schematic. It's one of those things where it makes sense once you actually see it. But, uh, you know, you got to do, got to do what you got to do. Now, I did put in, this is a single po pole, single throw switch. I realized the error of my ways, and I should know this, you need a double pull, double throw for it to work. And I just, oh, I don't know, pigtailed these out and stuck it down here. That would be for like a light, an auxiliary light. A single pull, single throw switch would be would be excellent for that. So I just threw that down there. And then uh, this switch, I took the blank out, put it in. I'll put a link to the switch on DigiKey so that you can find it. And we should be good. A lot to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving 2024. What a year. I was looking over my list of things that we've done this year, and it's it's been crazy. We've built a farm. We've added cattle. We've sold a bunch of meat. We added an excavator. It's pretty cool. Um, it's a blessing to be able to do all this. And it's lifestyle, that's for sure. I mean, we don't go on vacation. We drive older vehicles that we try to maintain. We, um, you know, we have nice things, and, and we, we're grateful for that. But we really want to make this whole thing fly and we are doing our best to make it go. So it's a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. I know at this point, let me see, Thanksgiving 2024, we'll see how things look in Thanksgiving 2025. But in 24, we've got about 440 subscribers, roughly. I think it's like 434 subscribers. Next year, I hope to have over a thousand and uh, you know we'll continue to hone this in and see how things go. Big goals for next year. We need to figure out our website ordering system and make it better. I think it's a little wonky right now, we, uh, so we need to make that better. We need to continue to grow our mailing list and our customer list so that, uh, well, we actually need to send things to our mailing list too. It's just part of the marketing so that people know we exist and they can order things from us and just really continue to build the business. And then there's all the infrastructure stuff that we need to work on, putting in more fence, uh, getting ready to convert hayfield, clearing pastures, uh, you know, all that stuff, just a lot going on there. So anywho, I'm going to go eat some turkey and I'll post some more videos of using the tree share. I did sneak off and use it a little bit. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. God bless you.